So my name is Wei Nian Zhang. Um, currently, I'm already uh, graduated from University College London, and now I'm a assistant professor in Shanghai Jiao Tong University in China. So previously, um, we uh, and the uh, I and the first author Shang Songliang was uh, colleagues in University College London. And he's a um, postdoc researcher there. And even if he's a postdoc re uh, researcher in UK, he can still not get the visa to the United States. So I'm here to present his job, with present his work. And actually, I feel uh, relaxed about presenting other work, uh, other people's work here, uh, which is uh, not uh, that nervous to present my work. Okay. So this work is about dynamic clustering of short. Uh, of, of streaming short documents. So the background, um, the goal, the task of this work is to uh, form dynamic uh, clusters of streaming short documents. For example, Twitter or short news feeds from Facebook. So it is uh, very important for many different um, applications such as uh, finding people with similar interests on the uh, social network. Because people can, uh, the people's uh, behavior on the social network could change over time, uh, each day, and uh, the similar interests people will definitely change over time. And uh, also, it could be applied to uh, for the summarization of the web search documents, because each snippet will be uh, short, and every day there will be new documents indexed by the search engine. And uh, of course, it could also diversify the search results by uh, performing the uh, document sn snippet clustering. The challenge here in clustering is that the, short, the document are short, and uh, the topics could change over time. And uh, for each document, for each document, the topics assigned to it could change over time uh, because of the distribution of the data could change. So uh, let me int briefly introduce about the relative work. So previous work most uh, be based on the assumption of that the documents arriving in streams are long and with rich information, rich context for in the inference. So uh, with such kind of assumption, uh, a lot of clustering uh, algorithms, the classic clustering algorithms can be used, such as k-nearest neighbor, k-means, and of course, some uh, topic-based clustering, topic-model-based clustering algorithms uh, for static topic distribution, such as this uh, Dirichlet multinomial mixture model, and uh, dynamic mixture model, and the topic tracking model. So here, the TTM is not the same as try once TTM. <laughs> okay, it's a topic tracking model. So this model can only deal with, uh, be suitable to deal with the long, long document. Uh, topic distribution instead of the short topic distribution we, uh, we want to study here. Okay, so let's go over the uh, problem definition. So the task here is to cluster in short text coming in stream. So uh, you can see here the, the, the document we want to uh, cluster it, uh, come into uh, time by, uh, by time step and time step. So here DT um, denotes the entire document from uh, the first time step until the current time step, t. So each time step, for example, dt prime here, uh, related, <coughs> denotes the document sets uh, coming to the t time step. And uh, we have, suppose we have z clusters, so from z1 prime to z, z, uh, cz prime. And uh, for each uh, ci prime, it means the set of document IDs assigned to this cluster. So the task is to formulate it as to learn a good function f mapping from the document set to the uh, cluster, cluster document set assignment. OK, so based on the problem definition, we propose uh, the framework called uh, DCT, uh, dynamic, dynamic clustering topic model. And we have two variants. The first one is short-term dependency, and uh, the second one is long-term memory. So the, me the motivation of the proposed model is based on the disadvantage of previous uh, work on the non-dynamic non topic model and uh, on the long document. 
So they can only work on the either only work on the for a static set of documents, or the topic distribution cannot be changed over time. Also, oh, could they could say okay, they can only work on the long document with a changed doc topic distribution. So uh, our proposed model tries to fix all these above disadvantages. We can work in uh, work in a, a streaming document, and the document distrib topic distribution could change over time. And the short document uh, this, uh, challenging problem can be fixed. And we have two solutions, short-term dependency DCT and long-term dependency DCT. I will introduce one by one. So uh, let's go uh, bri briefly go over the preliminaries. So for non-dynamic topic model, such as LDA, uh, currently there are two parts of the model. The first part is the topic distribution uh, per, doc per document. So the theta here uh, is a topic distribution parameter, and the kappa here will be the uh, Dirichlet prime pr pr uh, parameter. And on the other part is the per topic word distribution uh, phi here. And uh, it also has a prior, prior parameter uh, gamma here. So both, both kappa and ka gamma can be learned by the um, a fixed point iteration. Uh, and, uh, the parameters can be <coughs> inferred by Gibbs sampling. So for uh, our first solution, uh, short-term dependency DCT here, uh, instead of um, just uh, depends on, uh, uh, for the, for example, theta, the topic distribution parameter inference, it only depends on the, the prior, prior parameter kappa here. So here, instead of just depends on the prior uh, parameter alpha here, we also, let the parameter depends on the prior, uh, depends on the parameter of previous time step. So theta t minus one here, you can see that. And uh, the similarly, the, the per topic word distribution parameter uh, phi uh, z at time step t could also depend on the, the, the parameter at the t minus one st time step. That's the basic idea here. So the the intuition behind it is that the distribution of the new time step could, should depend on the distri distribution of the, the previous time step to make them dependent with each other. So the graphic representation of the short-term dependency DCT model will be shown here. You can see that as time goes by, um, the parameter theta and the parameter uh, phi here all depends on uh, the, the prior distribution and the posterior uh, distribution of the previous time step. And uh, after, after that, uh, both phi and uh, theta could uh, uh, infer the maximum likelihood of the observed document words. So um, for the topic uh, inference of each document, so here we make an assumption because we want to deal with the short document, short text document. So we assume that each short document can only have one, one topic instead of a topic distribution. Now here we still infer the topic uh, prob prob posterior uh, probability given the parameter like this. I won't go to the details into this uh, complex formula. And uh, all these uh, parameter phi and, uh, and theta can be uh, inferred using deep sampling. Um, and we also have a long-term dependency version of the solution. So which is very, very straightforward. So uh, for the inference of theta and phi here, we can, instead of just depends on previous time step, we can further draw the dependency uh, between the further time step, uh, further, further previous time step. So could, you could see here the, uh, at, t, at time step t minus two and t minus one can also influence, both influence the, the parameter at t. So that's a very uh, basic uh, extension, I think. So the inference of the, uh, the parameter, the topic distribution parameter phi and the topic uh, word distribution per topic, uh, oh, sorry, uh, topic distribution theta and the word distribution per topic phi here, uh, we have a weighted sum of previous uh, parameter theta and phi here. You can see that uh, with uh, L equals to one, then the, the, document, the, the, the solution would reduce to the short term version, which is, uh, which is uh, flexible, you can see it here. 
And based on that, we could still infer the, the topic distribution over top, uh, the topic distribution for each document. And we only pick one document. We only pick one topic for the document because we think the document, uh, the short document should only have one topic. And based on that, we can just uh, infer the, the, the word distribution of each document. And we will show you later. So after the iteration stops, we can directly go to the current distribution, uh, topic distribution and the word distribution per topic. And based on that, we can infer the, infer the topic for each document. And here we just pick the, uh, the, the, the cluster with the highest posterior topic, a uh, posterior uh, probability as the cluster to assign to this short document here. Okay, so the experiments are made based on two parts. The first one is directly to evaluate how good the clustering is. So we use the perplexity metric, which was typically used in topping model. And uh, since the authors come from the uh, information retrieval uh, community, they will use this cluster model to check whether it could improve the information retrieval or document ranking performance which is uh, straightforward uh, because we use language model to rank the documents. So here you can see that um, we normally uh, use the probability of the, generating, the document generating the word, the query word V here, to rank the document. So the first line would be our, based on our cluster model, that is simply you use V parameter here to determine the probability. And uh, the second line you, is the standard language model in information retrieval. It is, uh, again, a linear combination of the maximum likelihood estimator of the current document word distribution and the, the word distribution over the whole uh, document corpus. So you can see here. Um, and actually, the last uh, line, the cluster, the probability of uh, generating the word here, actually, I think there is only one Z here, only one cluster, because we have already assigned each document to only one cluster. The data set um, used here is the tweet, tweets data set connected from February to April 2015. The tweets will be retrieved by 107 queries, which uh, consists of 369 million tweets. And uh, these queries are also thrown into the search engine to get the 30 relevant documents for each query. And uh, we divide these sets by time into five sets to uh, conduct an experiment on each one of it and, uh, and, uh, and observe the performance trend. The compared baseline will be the uh, classic language model and uh, uh, LDA. This can just uh, deal with uh, documents with static topic distribution. And uh, the time-aware microblog search, which deal with short text document, but the, the topic distribution cannot change over time. And uh, the recent proposed the DMM and the TTM uh, methods uh, all, only deal with the long documents. But they, they can deal with the streaming documents. So this is the result for uh, ad hoc retrieval uh, based on the uh, language model. So you can see that our proposed method, DT, the DCT here, could improve over uh, all other compared methods. And it is very interesting to see that as time goes by, uh, the baseline algorithm's uh, performance goes worse and worse, but the DCT algorithm can somehow maintain its performance over time. This could be it take from its advantages of modeling short-term, short document talk, topic distribution changing over time. And we also tracked the uh, performance improvement uh, when we consider long-term dependency. So here the unit of the term length will be the day. Okay, so here the axis, x axis is about day time, day number. And we can see that if you look at uh, previous five days uh, dependency, the precision record could achieve to the optimal value. And after that, it, it cannot uh, be improved further which if you want to make a trade-off between the effect effectiveness and efficiency, maybe you can choose four or five, but it still depends on the data and task you want to do. And for the cluster performance, 
clustering performance will directly use the perplexity performance, and you could see that the uh, DCT algorithm could still outperform the other compared baseline. And the number of topics uh, will converge com converged, uh, at about the number of uh, topics at eight. That's a basic uh, result. Okay, so make a conclusion. So we deal with um, the dynamic clustering of the short document in streams and propose the document, uh, the dynamic clustering topic model with the short-term dependency and long-term dependency versions. And this model can be applied to many different applications and we focus on the clustering-based ad hoc retrieval language model in information retrieval. And we also publish our uh, code for the repeatable experiments on Bitbucket. And if you have interesting, you can check it out. And if you have any further questions, please um, send an email to the first author, Shang Song Liang, for more information. Thank you.